So now let's talk about the Apple Watch and how to install all apps on your Apple Watch, all those that are available to you. So the thing is that whenever you decide to go ahead and download an app on the App Store and it has and a version for the Apple Watch, you may decide if you want to just keep it on the iPhone or to install it on the Apple Watch as well. So yeah, you perhaps want to just download uh, the version which is only for the iPhone. For example, you have the Shazam on your iPhone, you don't want to have it on the Apple Watch or for the Google Maps. Like here, you can just hold down on it to uh, edit apps and to remove it, but how do you bring it back? Well, this can be only set up using the iPhone and using the watch app there. So locate the watch app, you can see it's right here, so the watch, and you can see these are all of my watch faces and settings, but if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, here is a list of all the available apps which I can install on my Apple Watch if I just click on the install button. Those are all of the apps which I already have on my iPhone. So I did download Audible, for example, from the App Store to my iPhone. But to bring it to the Apple Watch, since it has uh, an app which is available there, I can click on install and it should appear right there after it gets installed. So you can see right here it is just being installed currently. So it takes a while, but this is how we can bring it here to the Apple Watch. However, to not care about it at all, and simply if you download an app on the iPhone and if there is a version for the Apple Watch, if you want to just make it automatic, that means that you don't need to care and manually install the apps. You can choose that any app which has a version for the watch will automatically be installed there. And this can be set up again in the same watch app on the iPhone. You're going to go to the uh, general. You should find the option of automatic app install. It's right here about software update and automatic app install. If you zoom in, it just pretty much explains what it is. So when this is on, all the apps that you have on your iPhone and also work with the Apple Watch will be automatically installed and appear on your home screen on the Apple Watch. And the next time I decide to download a third party app from the App Store, which has a version for the watch, it's not going to just sit here waiting me for clicking on the install button. It's just going to be like, it's just going to show up there automatically. And this is just how it works. Plus, you also have the option to go to the App Store on your uh, Apple Watch, which, of course, if you install app here, then it definitely just shows on the watch. But I don't really use it that much because for this you're gonna need to set up a password and some security measures which I don't want to have enabled on my Apple Watch all the time. That's why I rather just install the apps on iPhone and just add them to the watch and not the other way around. Anyways, if you want to see how you can use the Apple Watch for running and all the things and all the possibilities you, you have there in case you want to go for a run with the Apple Watch, check out this video right here in which I go in depth with this topic and you're going to find out all the important information there. <laughs>